name is Dallas Sandoval, and I want to say that I'm thankful for this opportunity and this invitation. Um, I'm humbled and privileged to be able to come here today and share some words of encouragement. I want to say congratulations to the class of 2021. You did it. You did it, man. Congratulations. I want to applaud you on your perseverance. Uh, you stayed the course and you've graduated in the midst of a pandemic. My heart goes out to the classes of 20 and 21. No doubt you probably feel right, a little cheated because of you know, what took place. And um, my daughter is a senior at the rival school down the road. Don't hold it against me. Uh, but my little sister, Andrea Sandoval, is a senior right here at Top High. And uh, they've been in my thoughts and prayers. It's just been a very unusual year. And again, my heart goes out because there's definitely a sense of just feeling like I got cheated. I want to take the time also to thank the staff. I want to thank you for doing your best to make things as normal as possible for these students. I know it hasn't been easy for you uh, either. And so I want to say God bless you and may the strength and the peace of the Lord uh, be with you. Graduates, and you're turning the page of life. It's on to the next chapter of your life. And as you look back on how far you've come, the challenges that you've overcome, I hope that you'll look ahead to what's to come in your life with faith and with optimism. You're gonna have more freedoms now. And with those freedoms comes more responsibility. I wanna encourage you to use them wisely. Don't waste your youth. You are only young once. You don't want to live with the Uncle Rico syndrome. <laughs> if you've seen right, Napoleon Dynamite, you know what I'm talking about. You don't want to spend the rest of your life making videos of yourself of what could have been, right? wishing that you could turn time back. And so don't waste your youth. Right? You're only young once. But I want to be honest with you today. I want to be real today. In all honesty, the reality is right, that you're heading into a world with a lot of uncertainties. What does the future hold? What does the future hold? I think a better question is, is who holds your future? Don't worry about tomorrow. The Lord is already there. In the midst of all of the uncertainties that you and I are sure to face, there is one thing that is certain, and it's God's love for you through his son, Jesus Christ. It's a certain thing. It's a for sure thing. God's love for you comes with a purpose. It comes with a plan. And discovering God's plan, discovering God's purpose, and living it out is one of the greatest adventures that you can embark on. Remember that life is a gift from God. And what you do with that gift, right, with your life, is a gift back to God. He placed inside of you a gift that the world needs. That God-given potential, right, if it's met, can make a difference in your lifetime. So I want to encourage you with the little time that I have to continue to give your life to God. And if you'll do that, he'll do more with your life than you ever could. I'm living proof. The Lord took the mess that I made of my life after graduation and he turned it into a message of hope. And I know that he wants to do the same thing through your life. I wanna talk a little bit about the pursuit of joy. It's one of the main things of life. Man, you're gonna see all around you a world in pursuit of joy. And the pursuit of joy can lead you down many paths. It's been my personal experience that if you look for joy in wealth or status, or possessions, it's going to leave you unfulfilled, empty, maybe even addicted, and probably in debt. And so, if I can impart to you the secret of joy that I've learned in my life, it's this, J-O-Y, Jesus, others, and yourself. Living for Jesus first, living for others second, and living for yourself last. I can attest to this, that it's a very fulfilling life. 
helping others reach their potential in life, man, it's where it's at. And there are so many ways to leave this world and to leave Toppenish a better place. And that's my, that's my prayer for you. That's my hope for you is that God will do with your life after graduation. I want to pray for the graduating class of 2021, and I want to pray for the Toppenish School District, and I want to pray for our community. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done in the lives of these young people. And I thank you, Lord, for what you are doing even now. And I thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do in their lives and how you're going to use their lives, Lord, to impact their generation, to impact this community, to impact this world. Lord, I pray over their lives, your protection, your blessing. And God, we pray, Lord, for the top of this school district. We thank you, Lord, for the administrators, the staff, Lord, everybody involved that has helped these students get to where they are today and where they are going. Thank you for the parents, Lord. And God, we pray for our community. We thank you for the community of Toppenish, Lord. It's a great place to live. And Lord, help us to continue to make Toppenish a better place. And we ask it in Jesus' name, amen. Hey guys, thank you for your time. I just wanna let you know as I leave that the Lord loves you and so do I. God bless y'all. Hello, Toppenish Wildcat graduates. I'm very honored to be able to say a prayer for you today. Please bow your heads. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for our Wildcat seniors. You have watched over them these past 13 years. We know it has been a difficult year for these graduates, but they made it through with your help and the love and support of their parents, their families, the high school staff, and the CAT staff. We ask you, Lord, to guide and watch over them as they start a new chapter of their life. In Jesus' name, we give you thanks and praise. Bless our Wildcat graduates. Amen.